Hey guys, so I just got finished watching the season premiere of The Flash. As you know from last season, I've been a really big fan of it, and I couldn't wait for it to come back. So season two, oh, by the way, spoilers, but not too many. I'm not going to tell too much of it. Uh, season two starts off a little bit uh, uh, confusing at first, because it starts off with what I thought was like a dream. As you see everybody happy, and uh, Barry's walking around, and everybody's saying like they're doing really good. But then it fades away, and I was like, okay, wait a second. Last season, it was a singularity outside. Don't just jump into this. But then if you uh, have patience and watch it a little bit longer, it clears up, and you see all the things that happens. And it was definitely well worth... Uh, waiting and uh watching the whole episode it's actually really really good uh it had all my favorite characters back which you know my favorite is cisco and um uh everybody except for well i can't say too much i don't want to um i don't want to give away the ending but they don't have like dr wells ain't back and the um and the girl's boyfriend and i'm trying my best not to give away spoilers but it's really good and um it's kind of sad at first because you're like everybody's really displaced and so many uh so many uh people have had so much trouble and heartache and uh we get to see something that happened with the singularity and we, we lose another character but we're not really sure if he's lost now i have my own theory and i'm going to say spoilers right here so that you know i'm going to tell a quick uh plot detail all right so um i don't know all their names but the female scientist with the fire boyfriend well the fire boyfriend gets killed during the singularity he, uh, he goes up there and saves uh, Barry. Well, uh, when they get back, I personally think that he's inside of the uh, older doctor. I really do. I feel like if he can merge inside of him and Barry looked around everywhere and didn't see nobody, I feel like he's definitely inside of the older doctor. And that's, what, that's just my own theory, but we'll see. I think that everybody from the scene is coming back. I mean, a singularity is basically something that's, that's not able to be explained. That's what singularity is. It doesn't mean like it's a wormhole. It's just something that can't be explained. And when somebody gets sent to the singularity, they're usually coming back. I think Dr. Wells is coming back. I think that her other boyfriend's coming back. But I think they're going to do it so wrong with that. I think that um, Barry's uh, girlfriend, Iris, I think that's her name. I think that when Iris' boyfriend comes back, her and Barry's going to like, finally get into a relationship, finally get somewhere really good. And then they're gonna bring him back. It's gonna be like, well, I have to be with him because I mean, I lost. So you know how you know how series are. It can never be like um, right then and there. But uh, yes, it was a good episode, and I, I'm not gonna say the end, but it's such a beautiful ending. I love the ending. Um, I got sad when the guy chooses to leave. I'm not gonna go into it, but. I got really sad when he chooses to leave. And then if you watched it, you're going to know what I'm talking about. But I understood. And I love... I mean, it was just such a pretty ending. It was such a nice twist. And it was like, finally, Barry gets to have a win. Because he's been going through it so much uh, all this time. But, um, yes, yeah, basically it. It was a great episode. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. And uh, just another uh, funny theory. I was going to make a whole separate video for this. But i uh, putting it on this video because... I'll make a whole video for it. But is it just me or the guy who plays the Flash should be a great Spider-Man? Like, I know it's kind of weird because uh, he's already a superhero, but he's got the body for Spider-Man, like, in my opinion. Like, I would just love to see that because, like, they've been trying. They've been doing Spider-Man left and right, and it's just not working. Each Spider-Man is so douchey. This guy, I like this Flash. I like this guy. I really think that... They should make him the next Spider-Man. And I know it's like they've tried it so much, but I really think that'd be really cool. So tell me in the comments if y'all agree and what y'all think about this episode. And I will talk to y'all guys later. Okay, guys. Bye.